verbal warning. If possible, whisper to the child in order to not draw attention from the teaching and onto the inappropriate behavior. Number two, remove and set apart. Remove the child from the rest of the class. Have him or her sit in a different area of the class for a set amount of time or until he or she is ready to participate cooperatively. Number three, note home. Discuss with the supervisor for the need of a parent communication form. Once a parent communication form has been sent home, we will discuss with the parents what the next best steps are for the child. Self-evaluation. Pay attention to how you feel. If you are stressed, the children will sense that. Try to focus on the present moment with the children rather than outside stresses. We only have an hour each week with these kids to give them our all and to teach them about the depth of God's love, which we can demonstrate through our actions and our undivided attention. Take a minute away if needed. Number two, if you are struggling with a child, pass him or her off to a volunteer. You are never alone in a classroom, so let those around you help you through difficult moments. Number three, Arrive prepared in the morning, in heart and mind. Arriving on time enables you to have time to prepare in the morning.